Hello and welcome to the Truth Reveal podcast, where we host conversations uh, that relate, that uh, bring forth reconciliation, and ultimately reveal God's truth. I am your host today, Holly Harris, and I am joined by my co-host, Latricia Peak, and Shanita Rogers. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Everybody, we are so glad to be back with you again. We missed you guys last month, um, but we are, like I said, excited to be back. We had one of our cast members, say cast members, you know, one of our <laughs> <laughs> co-hosts that, um, you know, had someone to pass away in their family. So we said, you know, we're just going to take uh, this month off and, and make it do what it do. But we're glad to have Sweet back after um, Lisa, one of her uh, close family members and you know and like I said on the last episode there's there's been a lot of deaths this year I don't know if you guys have noticed just the uptick like every time I scroll on my timeline I see somebody who has lost someone mm. and so definitely know that uh, our thoughts and prayers are with everyone who has lost someone especially around the holiday season yes um, so yeah, but we wanted to come on today with, for this last episode of the season to kind of reflect over the year, the highs, the lows, the in-betweens, what we've learned, um, as well as kind of give you some tidbits going into the new year. Um, I think that it's really important, you know, just with, as with anything else to, to, to reflect, like if you had a business and, you know, you uh, maybe orchestrated something, you know, typically you'll come back later to, you know, write down what did we do good? What did we not do good? How could we do things better? So I think that that, you know, should be something that we do in our daily lives where we literally reflect over the year and see, you know, what things, uh, what goals that we set in mind that we actually saw come to pass, what things we were believing God for that we saw come to pass. So this is what this episode is all about. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started uh, and diving into this episode. And I just want to kind of ask uh, my co-host uh, this first question. Um, basically, if you could describe your year in one word, what would it be and why? I know I had <laughs> to kind of mull over this for a while myself. So whoever feels the, you know, the inkling to go first is is welcome to <laughs> on that question. We just I'll go. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> you have to draw names. Okay. okay. Um, I, I too kind of mulled over this question as well. Um. But I think in order to be completely transparent and honest, if I had one word to describe 2023, I would say that it was a challenging year. I would say that. Um, not just because of the things that have occurred the last six months, but just overall, it it just had a different, it had a different set of challenges. So yeah, it it was it was it was a challenging one. I felt like this was the year where um maybe in years past I was able to bob and weave some of the punches that life was throwing. This year them jokes was hit. I was like, oh, I just <laughs> I just got black out. Wait a minute. <laughs> you ain't lying. Oh yeah. That was Ooh. I would say it was challenging. Got popped a few times. I I <laughs> I didn't even see it coming. But um, <laughs> for me, I would say transitional. This is a year of transition in the sense of new seasons, which we all go through different seasons in life. But there have been some major decisions made in my life from my job and to some other things. And it's different for me. Um, I haven't made those type decisions before, yeah. but yeah, I know we'll we'll get to some other things, but transitional is a, uh, and it's transition in a way that's different than anything else I've ever experienced in my life, mm -hmm. and I'm learning to change my scope on how I approach that transition. So mm -hmm. it's transition, 
and it felt like bad transition, but I think it's good transition. So transitional. Okay, that's good. I feel the same way, like the challenge, the transition, uh, and it being a year of new, like that was the word, whether it was new good or new bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was new. <laughs> <laughs> new experiences, new, yeah, because I think this was a year that I went on more vacations than I've gone on in my entire mm. existence. I think, I don't know for Live, some reason, daughter. Uh, there was a lot of different, you know, uh, vacations that I went on, probably because next year ain't gonna be able to go on too many. <laughs> but, um, but you live, 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 but, live, you know, live, live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but that as well as I started a new job as well, um, and just uh, decisions. It was definitely a year of decisions, and that was one of the things God spoke to me about last year that I shared on Journey with Me that it was gonna be decisions, opportunities like that was gonna kind of define the year, and it literally has been what has happened, um, just having to make, you know, uh, those decisions. And I think too, like, um, with making those decisions, like there being a questioning of, did I re make the right decision? Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. you know, that sort of thing. So, yeah, yeah. but, uh, I definitely feel like it was that combination that you guys spoke of, uh, that took place. So yeah, definitely. But, okay, so that was good. So, okay, let's go to the second question. What do you feel like you learned about yourself this year that you didn't know last year? My God. I'm going to let Shanita <laughs> take that one with that, with that, with with that response. I feel go, like she had something to say. <laughs> There's just so much. I, you know, I consider myself to be a pretty strong individual. And I've learned how to allow myself to be how I, how vulnerable I wasn't mm. and to give myself the permission and grace to be vulnerable in safe places. And I thought I knew how to do that well. And evidently I didn't. So I learned that about myself and God has really shown me, um, how to love myself. And the weird thing is like, I was, I was spending some time with God and I was like, Lord, I did a whole prayer journal on le learning to love me. Like I thought I had that down. And he was like, no, sis, <laughs> you still got some other stuff. You know, you have to learn. Um, and so I am literally, or have literally learned to, that it's okay to choose myself. Mm -hmm. And we, we so many times say that's what we're doing. You know, I'm going to choose me. I'm going to choose me. And I really haven't, when I think about my life, I mean, 45 years doesn't seem long, but it's a long time to go from space to space and on journeys, you know, in your life. And when I consider my past, I think about how much I have not considered myself. Sometimes we, especially women, we oh, do for God. other people. Let me take care of this person. Let me take care of that. Or even on your job and your family, you know, whatever it is, I've always, let me handle this. Mm -hmm. And I just realize it's okay to take care of me. I choose me. So that's kind of like my motto right now. Amen. Choosing that. me. That's good. I learned that I did not choose me. So now I am choosing me. Choose yourself. Yeah, man. Mm. Yes. Come on, somebody. All right, sweet. <laughs> oh, oh, it's on me. I was gonna sit throw it up, throw it back to you. Um, now this question was hard for me because I it probably probably was, I don't know. I feel like all the questions was hard, <laughs> but I felt like this one probably was the hardest. I think just because. I tend to just go through life, just going through life, like not stopping long enough to process, um, have I learned something new? Like, and so I, I really had to think, what have I learned about myself that I didn't know last year? And I don't know if it's so much a learning about myself, but I definitely feel like there's been more of a revealing for me, somewhat a little bit of kind of what Shanita was saying about 
choosing choosing myself, but I think it's been revealed to me um, greater in this year that um, I personally have put myself in a elevated position in my own mind than what I really am. And what I mean by that is I think I can do all things, but only Jesus is all things to all people. And I come to realize in my thinking that I can do it. I can do this and I can do that. And I'm a busybody and I'm here, there, not busybody in other people's affairs, just busy doing stuff, work, help, family, church, school, whatever. And I'm realizing that sis, you don't do well with multitasking. And maybe other people do, but that's not a strong suit for me. And mm -hmm. I think this is the year that I've seen it. This I've seen myself be most impacted by my ability to not say no, not just to other people, but even me looking at things objectively and saying, you don't have the capacity to do what you're trying to do. And if you do do it, you can do it, but it's not going to be done well. Mm -hmm. And so um, that that was hard to come to the realization of. But here we are. And so, you know, with that realization now, kind of going back to what you and Shanita said, I'm having to look at how I want to approach the new year and, and still in this present year, having to make decisions that will put me in the best light and and bring myself to a more true view of what I have the capacity to do and who I am really. That's good. Yeah, That's really it is good. good. It's I, actually reflective. It mm -hmm. is. I'm mm -hmm. telling you. Because it's like, you know, the things that we go through you know, that's where the scripture comes from. All things work together for your good, you know, mm -hmm. as far as it be revealing those things within you to help you grow, to, to show yeah. you what you do need to work on. Because I know this year I learned some things about myself <laughs> that I had to kind of write it down because this question was kind of hard for me, too. I was like, now, what did I learn about myself? I wrote the question mm -hmm. and it's what you asked <laughs> 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 It was a good question, though. It was a good question. Yeah, absolutely. But I think for me, I I really saw how, uh, I saw that I was impatient in some areas because I consider myself to be a patient person, to be a person that extends grace to other people. But it was this particular situation that I was like, why am I getting so upset and going off the rails about this thing? And I was seeing certain areas in my life where um I was I was impatient and God was uh uh basically showing me how um my impatience as it relates to how fast I feel like other people should be moving like if they're mm -hmm. not moving or not meeting my standards uh that that piece of impatience can <laughs> can kind of flare its head and, you know, God was just kind of showing me how, you know, what people perceive to be a priority for them, it, your priorities might not be their priorities, their priorities. basically. Yeah. And just kind of bringing in understanding as it relates to that. Uh, and also um, uh, being able to see my shortcomings and correcting them in the moment. I think mm -hmm. God helped me get better at that instead of, instead of allowing it to fester, being able to recognize, no, you being impatient, just wait, just stop, you know, being able to kind of talk myself down from, or allowing the Holy Spirit to talk me down from acting out of character in those moments. Um, I think another one was too, um, God kind of debunking the myth for me that because it's hard or difficult, that it's not him. Like mm. a, a lot of times. Come on now. That, <laughs> Come on now. Like when you, I preach, was, you preach and preach. It was like when I was telling you, I was kind of rethinking a decision that I had made just because I was, I was being faced with the difficulty or inconveniences and automatically thinking, well, Lord, maybe I should have did that. 
I don't know if this is you just because it's hard, but realizing mm -hmm. it might be God because it's hard because he's trying to show you who you are in that moment. <laughs> and so I think those are basically, you know, some of the things that that I learned this year uh, that mm -hmm. are beneficial going forward, definitely. But And yeah. I just I want to comment about that, Holly, because I think that was just powerful. Um, I can't, I can't say it the way my pastor says it, but he kind of often makes this statement about that, that notion that when bad things happen, that they're not God, because mm -hmm. we only associate like God is good yeah. or, or even perceive bad things happening that surely this is not the Lord and this is the enemy. But I think it is in those times where things are challenging that we see the perfecting taking place and not being so quick to um, attribute every quote unquote negative as not the Holy Spirit still having the capacity to work. And I, now there are times when yeah. you know, we have to make those distinctions, like this Absolutely. is the enemy and something is coming or trying to pervert us or not pervert, but avert us from whatever the said thing is. But having that awareness, and, and I think that just comes from the Holy Spirit to yeah. say, yeah. Um, this is this is not bad in the sense of, oh no, woe is me. Mm -hmm. This is, I'm trying to teach you and perfect you and draw something out of you. And yeah. if we don't have the, um, the spiritual uh, discernment, yeah. to recognize that we will miss a God moment. It's so I think that's really Ooh, good. My Lord. And it's just a reminder of like when I'm faced with challenges, what I'm instantly reminded of is God is with me. Mm. He is with me. He will not fail. He is with me. Mm. And I try now to take on every opportunity that is challenging for a space for God to prove himself. Mm -hmm. for his word to never return void oh, and so if as a child of God there are certain things that are promised to me which I mean another promise was you will have trouble in the world so well, <laughs> that's the thing that right, is that is the, the promise I've overcome the world Come so on, you man. know <laughs> but he's okay right yeah, that part <laughs> so then I remember okay you are going to experience trouble yeah. but God is with you so that means this thing will not overtake you. And yes. so I try to keep my head space there now, being more aware of it and try to see God in everything I'm experiencing because so many people say experience is the best teacher, but Holy Spirit is the teacher, yes. the master teacher. Yeah, he is. And yes. Holy Spirit is the best teacher. Yeah. So beyond what my experience my challenges can ever teach me the holy spirit, holy spirit is here to guide us show us things yes. to come bring yes. things back to our remembrance and then comfort us and mm. so in my experience god is present with me come so yeah i'm gonna send both of y'all a cash <laughs> app Hey, look, with my cash app either, <laughs> dollar sign right right that dollar sign Cha gotta have that dollar sign oh my god absolutely damn for real yeah that was good y'all my lord yeah yeah we, we learned something got on this shit going on. Man. quiet mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh gosh Okay, so let's move on to the next question. So what are some goals that you set for yourself that you were able to reach or some testimonies that you want to share? So whoever want to begin. So <laughs> one of my goals was more to become active. You know, everybody set their goals at the beginning of the year. Well, I was just like, I'm not setting no goals for the beginning of the year because I know I ain't going to do it. <laughs> but <laughs> somewhere in the year, I'm going to get on track. Yes. And so, because I fell off last year with working out. And so one of my desires was to work with a, a coach. Okay. And I mean, you know, coaches cost money. Yeah. And um, we'll just say that won't part of the budget. <laughs> but God still made a way because I was able to work out with a 
dynamic group of people and at no charge, by the way. Come on, that's a testimony in itself with that coach, by the way. Oh, yes. For multiple (laughs) weeks. And it just helped me to get into a more disciplined thought when it comes to my physical being, because I've experienced a lot physically this year. So this is kind of my testimony. I was extremely sick and have experienced a lot of challenges this year in my physical body. And so um, I just had this reincurring issue, female issue, and didn't know where that was coming from. Like literally I felt like the walking dead. That's what I felt Mm -hmm. like at times. And long story short, it was a small procedure that needed to take place that took care of the issue. God is good, thankful for medical professionals. Mm. And although I have not worked out every single week, I still work out here and there. And so for, for me, that is a major achievement because I won't trying to work out for nobody at <laughs> no point of the week. So that's still an accomplishment yeah. for me. I had other goals and um, they were hijacked and that's okay. Yeah. So yes. I just made it a goal to focus on what I have control over yes. and, and celebrate the wins that I do have. So if that's one win or two wins, then I celebrate that. But that was my major win because that's something I'm continuing to do on my own is work out. Come on somebody. That's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um I'm con- so I am a person that does believe in setting resolutions. I think when the new year starts, you should have something before you that you want to shoot for. Mm-hmm. However, I always feel like I didn't do the stuff from the previous year. So my my stuff is always the same. I don't know if that's good or bad because that means I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. But um, I guess one of my goals was to to make more money and work full time. And I've, I've been working, but working full time with a certain salary in mind. So the Lord was gracious and kind and did allow... Um, that to come to pass and and it was something that was sought out I was sought out I was I wasn't looking for it and it happened then I kind of was thinking about the stuff that we previously talked about and was like it got hard I was like now Jesus was this really you Um, (laughs) (laughs) so I'm still trying to see to see the Lord in the difficulty of this new blessing because it's a blessing until it gets challenging. Then it's like yeah. we want to start questioning. <laughs> yep. And so I'm trying to take the words of my sister and and see God in the challenge and know that He is with me. And if He allow this door to open which it was him, I do believe, because in him opening that door, it allowed other things to come to pass that were for my good, then he's going to help me navigate the rough places. So um, that was definitely um, a goal that was set. And I was also able to um, pay the state of North Carolina off. Hey! Oh God, God. we thank you. Praise (laughs) Jesus. Now, I'm still paying the feds, but we we, we got glory. But you paying them, that's the thing, you paying. And that that, that job helped me to to make some significant deposits. (laughs) Amen to that. (laughs) Look at God. Look at him. I, I think for me, like like Shanita said, I had a, a, a little sickly moment <laughs> this year as well. Uh, went to the doctors and my numbers were terrible. I said, oh, no, I need to do something. <laughs> but so I did kind of start implementing some um, changes as far as in my eating habits. And I've stuck with them. I've been proud of myself for doing that. And I've lost a little bit of weight. So I said, well, God, I give you name. praise and glory for that. Yeah. I lift my <laughs> yeah. hand so y'all could just stretch towards me because I've gained. <laughs> well, I mean, that's hey, okay. That's all okay. right. Um, but yeah, so I've tried to stick to that, um, you know, because the older we get, my gosh, 
Yeah, Jesus. Lord. And stuff started. Like when you back in the day, you used to could just eat whatever you wanted. You didn't have right. to worry about it. Uh, you do that now, you go to the doctor and they be like, no, ma'am, <laughs> your cholesterol <laughs> high. Well, this is how it is. You know, I still <laughs> yep, <laughs> might have to get a procedure uh, where there ain't no mic. They have to, I'm probably going to have to, and it's going to be a, a major uh, thing. So just be in prayer for me on that. Amen. Amen. Yes, but, uh, but yeah, so that, let me see, what else happened? Um uh, I did get a new job as well. And just like Sweet said, I started the question after some challenges <laughs> took place <laughs> in my Lord. But it was increased. I had been praying for increase. And so God uh, blessed me with that. Um, then also student loan forgiveness. The Lord, my Lord, but it wasn't the whole loan because not all of it fell under that 20 year mm -hmm. uh, piece. But most of it did. So I thank God for that. Come on, Ishkatai. <laughs> we gave him glory yeah, we, for this. Yes, and then, Hallelujah. <laughs> if you do that for I, me, Lord, my God. Hey. You need to check because you could have been out of school for 20 years. I do. I do. Something need to be taken. It's Don't probably coming down the line because, honey, you should. Mine is on the way. Too. I got okay. like a year and a half left. Okay, well, it's coming, my lord. It's yeah. coming. I'm I'm calling yeah. them next week. You know, well, I've been calling you... these people. They need new help because nobody answers the phone. You got to get so many. <laughs> I left messages, and yeah. I'm like, y'all gonna call me back because I got call, some other stuff chat. going on. Yeah, yeah, I, that I want to. Is the way the chat? Yeah, not so, the call the chat. Chat. Yeah. Okay, so I'll maybe I'll try that next week like mm -hmm. trying to chat we'll because I wanted to I want to have a testimony that you have Holly yeah, where some things have it. have went down to allow for other things to happen yeah. and then the beautiful thing too party. is that they have um because Biden made the uh percentage that you have to pay back so low I was like they sending me bills for a dollar and some change I'm like I'll just be sending more I'm like this is too <laughs> low because the balance is is pretty low now whatever yeah. so the percentage that's how much but yeah I, of course i send more or whatnot but it's a mm -hmm. blessing that it's not what it used to be where you got 300 dollars payments and that right. stuff is crazy yeah. Uh, yeah so we give i give god glory for that and then one other thing happened i had found out that i had like a little retirement nest egg that i didn't even realize i had from my previous job so i, I encourage anybody who's been on previous jobs and you know, you were paying into your 401k and they were matching it. A lot of the times we were leave jobs and we forget about that stuff, but you mm. better go back and call them because you might find a blessing <laughs> because yes. I found out that I have a, I said, okay, because going from thinking I ain't had not nary nothing saved for retirement to being like, okay, I got a little something, something, you yeah. know, so Anybody who's listening, who's forgotten about that, go back to your previous employers and see if you got some little, because I I need to find out about another job too that I think I might have been putting money in, but it was so long ago, you forget about that stuff. Right. And if you don't roll it into uh, something mm -hmm. when you leave, yeah. you just go on with life and you got money out there that you don't even realize you have. So mm -hmm. I yeah. and I would totally encourage, um, just to reiterate that Holly, that is so true. I left, uh, I used to work for, um, a pension company anyway. And so they had like a 401k that they matched, but then they also had pension that they, that we put money into. Yeah. And so I, I didn't forget, but they, they, I can't touch the money obviously till I'm a certain yeah. age or whatever, but it's a nice little uh, beginning yes. of, um, and you know, they tell me it. if you throw something more to it, it gives me my breakdown of what I would get on a, you know, yeah. monthly basis. And so, yeah, definitely uh, revisit those old mm -hmm. um, positions <laughs> that you may have thought forgotten about. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Wisdom. Come on, somebody, my lord. So yeah, so that was that was all good, ladies. Amen. So okay, well we're going to our next question. So what are you guys looking forward to or sensing for the new year? So it could be anything from what the Lord told you, you um about next year to 
you know, things that you are just looking forward to because you just believe in God. It's going to happen this time in Jesus' name. <laughs> so who will y'all want to start on that? I'll let one of y'all go first because I've been uh, yapping first. I, I, um, <laughs> Holly, you go first. Oh, Lord <laughs> have mercy. Well, anyway, okay, I got a little <laughs> slight little list here that I feel like. See? <laughs> Preparedness. Oh, okay. Well, I feel I feel like God was kind of speaking to me, basically not to go into the year thinking that things will always be the way that they have been. Mm. Like, um, and you know, because I was thinking about just something, a financial obligation that I have, you know, for next year, and was thinking about it. Okay, Lord, how am I going to do that? Plus, I want to pay all this. Plus, I want to do that, that, and the third. And the, you know, God was like, you act like you ain't gonna have no help. You you just you act like, you know, and just kind of, you know, whispered to me that what you're concerned about is just gonna be a drop in the bucket. So not to be so concerned about something, raise your expectation, uh, believing him, because I just I believe more financial increases are are coming, you know, for the people of God. And, you know, I've heard other prophets uh say that um the word the words of God are going to be coming to pass so quickly after they're spoken out of the mouth of prophets after you have believed him for something that is going to scare us that's how quickly we're going to see things uh begin to manifest and I think also I was feeling that Lord saying you know basically staying rooted in him and staying rooted in community because you know, with the blessings, there are also going to be, of course, more trials, more things that are going to happen in the world uh, that are going to happen and that are going to try to shake our faith, but that it's going to mm -hmm. be so important that we stay rooted in God and as well as rooted in community. So, yeah, that's all I got. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah that's good. That's good. Um, I, I, yeah, I guess I'll go. And I do want to piggyback one more thing, one other testimony. It kind of, it, it's a new testimony and it kind of slipped my mind, but um, I am going on my first uh, ministry trip to Africa next year in Yay. September. Yeah. Yay. This is a, <laughs> this is a long time coming and, and desire. And um, this past week um, I received notification that, someone has practically paid for half of my trip and Hallelujah. So she, come on hey, glory <laughs> Hallelujah. bless the lord oh my and soul. that that you know um holly you kind of mentioned it at the beginning when you feel like you've just been getting punched I just was like, wow, wow. thank you, God. Mm -hmm. It was just awesome. so encouraging yes. that um just that just to have that happen. Absolutely. Um, if they had gave me two dollars, I would have been appreciative. Awesome, and but just to know like like he he sees and he cares. Yeah. And and so I that was that was um that really was a, a blessing to me. Oh. Um as it pertains for New Year, I will be honest, I have not sought the Lord about what the new year holds for me. That's something that I planned on doing um obviously before the new year comes. But one of the things that I do feel uh very strongly about is the things that I've in, in, in endured, I would say, yeah. this year mm -hmm. that I feel like it's all been to, to build and to edify how to move forward in the new year. Yeah. And um, one of the things that I am really trying to hold on to for 2024 is joy. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like I've been dealing with a lot of fear and mm -hmm. grief mm -hmm. and, and I just, I'm trying to walk in the joy of the Lord, like really authentically, not mm -hmm. what we say, not yeah. I have joy, but yes. really literally letting joy be my portion. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. and, and what does that look like when you say, I want to walk in joy, um, 
doing things that make me joyful, doing things that make me happy, uh, putting God back at the center, being creative again, um, because life has kind of just been life in. And when you're trying to do too many things at one time and you do nothing well, you know, it's just like you're all over the place. So I think one of the things that I definitely outside of just pursuing joy um, with reckless abandonment for 2024, I'm definitely going to be um, settling down and and really seeking God for everything that I do, mm. making sure that is what I'm supposed to be doing yeah. and not just being busy because that's yeah. not fruitful. Gotcha. Very good. Yeah. 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 That's good. Mm. So I don't know if I can say it's going to be something. I know there will be definitely some things that are new for me. However, I feel like because of the season that I am, some things will continue continue to just grow Mm -hmm. and some of those things are sweet mention joy it's funny well i'll tell this probably a little later but joy peace and those two things will um take me into a freedom Mm. and that's been happening but a freedom that i've never experienced which will give me a release um, from some of the things that I've held on to and not understood how to let go of in a healthy way. Mm-hmm. Some of them, it's just easy to just drop. Yeah. So, you know, other things you have to mentally disassociate from. And I think that's going to be a continuation for me. And the interesting thing is in my spending time with God, which is so crucial <laughs> to mm-hmm. for us to spend that time with the Lord, so many people have spoken into my life, those that I've known and not known, like mm. people that don't know me, that just met me and spoke a word and given me clarity or confirmation on the very things I had prayed about. And I'm like, like, you don't even know what's going on in my life. So that has to be God, mm. even though. Mm-hmm. demonic activity they know stuff too but they ain't trying to uplift you you know yeah. uh, <laughs> and encourage you and speak a word into yeah. your life so true. or praise god and honor god yeah. and so i believe this is going to be a continuation of elevation and growth mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. the very things that god had already promised me i'm just going to experience them on a new level mm. oh man oh glory to god yeah. <laughs> hey man, that was good. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Okay. Well, um, but that being said, I just wanted to say, well, did you guys have anything you wanted to add? Any questions that you wanted to ask uh the other two of us or anything you wanted to interject? I know I've been asking all the stuff. <laughs> I didn't know. What do you want to leave me. behind in this year that you don't want to take? Oh. Mm. What do I, I want to leave behind um regret mm. um i was i was about a week ago and i rarely do this but i was getting ready for work and I'm not sure. I know Holly knows who Sade Martin is, but I don't know if you know who Sade Martin is, Shanita. Um, young lady about our age. She has a prayer ministry and she has a, a prayer CD out called Prayers from the Vault. And I just, I didn't even go to the CD. I just went to YouTube and put in her name and she's been at different ministries or whatever. I'll make this quick. She's been at different ministries leading prayer and intercessory prayer. And I just clicked on a uh, event that she was at and she was leading prayer. And y'all I'm telling you for all the trash that's on the internet, there is some diamonds in the rough. Yeah, and this lady started speaking at this event that happened. Some, I don't even know when it was sometime this year but it felt like she was directly, she started prophesying to the people in the, in the, at the event that she was at. And I was like, 
I stopped getting ready and I just like was tuned in because the things that she was saying, I so resonated with, and I knew that it was the Holy Spirit coming to minister to me in the most, um, kind of like obscure way, but it was him who also led me to just do something that I never normally wouldn't do on a Tuesday, getting ready for work, listen to this lady pray. And, um, she talked about being in a season of grief and it, and I, and it, it, uh, it resonated me with, it resonated with me for obvious reasons, because like Holly was saying, this year has brought about a lot of loss. Um, we lost a very precious church member in July. And then in November, honey, my uncle died, the dog died. My stepfather died unexpectedly. It was just like, oh my goodness. And but it wasn't just the grief of what's happened this past month or the previous month. It was like the grief of just things that didn't happen, things that I wanted to happen. Like I felt mm -hmm. like I had just been grieving a lot, but I didn't have language yeah. for what was happening with me because I just been busy and moving. Yeah. And I think the grief was inter intertwined with fear. So I'm grieving things that didn't happen and then fearful that they won't happen or fearful that somebody else is going to die. And do I have the capacity to take that? And the Holy Spirit just, just really arrested me and encouraged me and gave me language and words for what I was feeling, but couldn't pinpoint it and then gave me scripture to build me up and um and just edify me that's what the word does and so when you talk about what do I want to leave behind I want to leave behind the grief of accepting you know it's the serenity prayer Lord give me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change. Give me the courage to change the things that I can. What's in my power to change and give me the wisdom to know the difference. Mm -hmm. So I want to leave behind the grief of trying to change stuff that I can't change yeah. and, and not having Oof. the wisdom to know what I can and cannot change. Yeah. Like, huh? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> you preach like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, somebody. I, that's that's what I want to leave behind. Ooh. I want to leave behind Ooh. that fear and that grief. And kind of like what you were saying, Holly, yeah. be open yeah. to whatever it is. Ooh. And you know, just being open to, you know, here am I, God, send me whatever send me looks like. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Oh, I can come, come behind on. that. I don't know <laughs> what to say. I, I, I can't take it in a new year. It was it was wow. crippling. Mm. And I didn't realize how crippling it was. And you know, but it was it was just crippling, not like to live your life in a state of fear mm. and regret. Wow. You know. It's it's not it's not that abundant living that scripture says that we're supposed to have mm. at all. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Oh. I can see <laughs> uh, I was still, I'm like, Lord, I didn't ask the question. Now do I have to <laughs> Okay, Holly number two. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, 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 oh, go, ahead. go ahead, Holly. Go oh, but I definitely that resonates with me as far as the uh fear piece. Thankfully, I didn't uh experience um grief on that level as far as losing loved ones. And I pray to God, because y'all gonna have to check on me. <laughs> I'm dealing in certain ones, Lord, if any, because I, the way my family dynamic is is set up, um as I was growing up, we never really it was weird because we never really spent time or got to know any of the extended family outside of you know just our external group my brothers my mm -hmm. sisters my mother my father mm -hmm. so literally you know I've had grandmother pass I've had you know uncles and cousins and all of this past but because we're so far removed I never really got to know them 
So literally, like my only family is like my core yeah, family. Right. It's like my mm -hmm. dad, my sisters, my brothers. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? So a loss there would be like, my God, on this very day, <laughs> because those are the only family members that I've grown, you know, grown up mm -hmm. with, known, you know, all of my life mm -hmm. or whatever. So yeah. I'm just like, Lord, please, if you know the words of prayer, <laughs> pray yeah. not straight to the Lord. But as you get older, you know those days are coming. And so I mm -hmm. think that's a fear of mine as well, because, you know, the capacity to be able to do that in a healthy way, mentally and all of that, mm -hmm. that stuff. Um, but anyway, so that, leaving that behind. Um, and I think two fear as far as... Um, expectations of other people that other mm -hmm. people place on you I think yeah. for myself I spent a big chunk of my life doing what I felt like other people wanted me to do and I think when you start to move away from that there's a certain guilt that tries to come up in your spirit because you are finally living for yourself and you're finally <laughs> putting yourself in in the things that God has given you to do first and so you kind of rehearse like when people try to bring you into their spaces or bring you into what they want you to be doing, but you know, it's not what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be continuing on this journey. God has you on. There's a guilt that can come up like, Oh, well, maybe I should, because if you're a person that loves to help, you know, maybe, yeah. maybe I should, but it's like, no daughter, this is what you're supposed to be <laughs> doing. <laughs> so I think leaving that, behind um would definitely be a good thing for me amen <laughs> <sighs> um so i'm going to say i want to leave behind anything that hinders me mm. in my walk with the lord in my purpose and i'm even examining this whole thing around purpose but the things that I'm assigned to, I'll say that. Yeah. Any anything or anyone that hinders my assignment, my calling, any of those things. Someone said to me that this season is a editing season for me. Mm -hmm. And it's like when you send a book to the publisher and you gotta get certain things edited out. Mm -hmm. It yeah. can't get published until certain things are out yeah. and are edited. Oh, so, yeah. because those things are the very things that have hindered me. And yeah. so whatever those things are, according to the will of God, I don't want to take them with me mm. into the next year. Oh. So that's, that's my thing, yeah, whatever that is. Stuff this here I, I, I had to write that down, edit. Ooh. <laughs> God, oh. Make me a note on my mm. sticky. Honey, if y'all would have heard that prophecy, I couldn't do nothing. The person walked up to me. She walked up to me. And um, she said, God has some things to say to you. First of all, I was going to leave mm. where I was at. And I just stood there crying because yeah. the things that she spoke to me were so personal and so specific mm. that I knew it had to be God. And it was like, I ain't say nothing. And then once she was done, she just walked off. She ain't say, bye, have a good night. And then she just walked <laughs> off. <laughs> and I'm crying. Thank, thank you. But it was, she just did what she was supposed to do. But it resonated with me. And that has been a source of strength for a little while. Isn't that beautiful it that is. God, um, I'm all, you know, even though we live in this generation where this, the gift and the office of the prophet has kind of been perverted to be honest mm -hmm. but it is such a beautiful thing mm -hmm. to witness and experience when there are true people who are prophetic yes. in nature and they yes. speak it really has mm -hmm. an evangelistic mm -hmm. appeal to it as well because if you weren't a believer it's the thing that make you be like hmm right. maybe there is a god out oh, there right. uh -huh. you know? that's why it's so important yeah, mm -hmm. it is. And 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 like it 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 always feels like I they were laughing at me today um 
but I always say God is concerned about the things that you're concerned about. Like yes, he really yes, is. is. And he uses whoever's available to mm -hmm. come and speak these awesome words of encouragement to the body, to his daughters and sons. And, and it edifies and it reassures that I know I see and I care. Mm -hmm. So that's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, it's, and it's a reminder to me that God cares about me in line with you, yeah. what you were yeah, saying. Yes. Like when I pray to God, sometimes you don't hear that audible voice and you don't get the answer right away. Yeah. But he uses people yeah. to speak his words also. And it just, I like to say it's God winking at me. Mm. That's what I call it. You know, it's God like, that's my little wink at you. He yeah, sweet. He's just so precious, ain't he? Yeah, <laughs> ain't he? Yeah. <laughs> ain't he <laughs> he's a good guy. He's a good he's father. A good, he really good is. Good father. Mm, he's mm. a good, good father. So yeah, good. we should have had a choir singing in the background. <laughs> Gee, we probably got three parts right here, but you know what? <laughs> Come on, don't play. Okay, my all question. Settled. So go ahead, right right <laughs> <laughs> okay my question is gonna be lighthearted because we've been deep tonight yeah, we have my god <laughs> y'all we don't have a cash app but y'all need to get to the cash app our way because we've been okay, straight up, up preaching prophesying <laughs> and encouraging come on. all the Hello. things Come on, the gifts now. have been in action tonight, oh, if I do ooh, say so ooh. myself. Yes, now. come on, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a very shameless plug. Yes. <laughs> but um, where do you guys want to travel to in 2024? Ooh. Well, you know, I'm going to Africa, too. That'll probably be the... Ooh, ooh. And because I just started the new job, I ain't got much time. That's why I said I ain't going to really be able to go too many more. Now, other, maybe now, like now traveling don't mean you got to be out the country. That's true. That's it's true. places right here in these United States of America. Little weekend trips and stuff like that. Uh, I'll probably be able Yeah, to that's do. true. And y'all are travelers. Like <laughs> so, for real, for real. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to shoot, I do good things. just to get out the house. Um, <laughs> I do, you know, a little bit, but yeah. not like you know the out of the country or places okay. like that. Let me so, let me bring some. Let me narrow it down. But I want to. But I want to. Okay. So, so where name a place that you want to go out the country this is dream state and then name some places locally that you would like to go like just regional within our within our country so africa is a place that i want to okay go. i've always wanted to go ghana specifically i want to go to ghana, ghana was really nice my sister, my sister was lost from ghana um, I was trying to get her to get me some furniture from over there, but that ain't happened. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, that's a little far stretch. Um, let's see, where would I like to go? I just went to California, and that was I'd never been to the West Coast, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna say, where have I not gone? I don't know. I'd like to go and stay in one of those little, um, it ain't in the wilderness, but I guess it is. You want to go glamping? <laughs> yeah. But I want it to be just the most beautiful setting. Like, I don't want to see no lions and tigers and bears. Oh, yeah. my. But, <laughs> but I do just want to be out in the creation of God just so I can see the beauty. Like, when I, I don't want to have curtains. And things like that. I want, well, some curtains because I don't want to feel like I'm a Freddy Krueger movie. But <laughs> just floor or bay windows that are large enough for me to wake up and just look outside. Like I'm you can do that you in the some spots. I'm going to okay. send you some spots. Okay. Asheville is the place where you want to oh, be. Yeah. Okay. See, I know you, you'll be out there climbing rocks and things. Yes. Yeah. I, 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 I <laughs> you have and Holly. Well, yeah, Holly, yeah, Holly be hiking too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to go locally. I've been raised, born and raised in North Carolina. I don't know what happened because I think they used to do like a school trip. I have yet to go to the Outer Banks. 
I want to go nice. to the Outer Banks. I want to go to Kitty Hawk. I want to go oh, to the Wrights Brother I Museum. I want to go see the Wild Horses. Um, yes. So, like, I don't know what's what all where all I'm going next year, but it is my mission. I was supposed to do it this year. I didn't get to do it. I really want to like make it my mission to do like a weekend trip to the Outer Banks because that's that's, cool that's something place. totally nice. achievable. It is. Yeah. And I, when I, went, I went too. by myself, yeah. and it was one of the best vacations I ever went on. <laughs> it's by, a beautiful my, place, yeah. It was yeah. really, really nice. Um, yeah. And then I stayed with this beautiful couple, Lord. They then they took me rafting and everything. <laughs> oh wow! You, yeah, you had a good... Airbnb, and um, yeah. they had rafts, and they took me right on a little um, area. And it's it's like the water was black. And they, I was what? like, how is this possible? And it was the, it's the algae that makes it that color. Wow. Oh, wow. It was very interesting because I had that never is. seen water that literally looks black, not blue, black. but that was black. Not even right. dark blue, but black. black. <laughs> like all of the water was black? Yes. It was black. And it was like, it's because of the color of the algae. That's that interesting. That way. Okay. Yeah. I was just in the little raft, just rafting along. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. So I'm trying to think. Where would I want to go? I don't know. Um, I thought about going to Vermont just because I used to have an attorney that I supported that lived there, and he just raved about it. Um, and it's not when you far. go tell me because oh. I've I've <laughs> always Vermont. So I want to visit all fifty states, yes. but Vermont was on my list because. I wanted to go gliding. Y'all know what gliders mm -hmm. are? Yeah. They have those planes. It's a plane, oh, wow. but it's, it's it's propelled by the air yeah. currents. Oh my god. Right. Of course you want to do that. Right. But, she would. but yeah. I think they can get it like you can be you can take a ride in one as piloted. Oh, okay. But I just like you like the scenery is so beautiful. It's very big mm -hmm. in that area. I also on my bucket list for this year is to do a hot air balloon ride. Oh, I just yeah. thought about that. Yeah, so I think I need to start watching was TV. Looking somewhere. into that, uh, I can't remember uh, where it was located, but they was doing that somewhere. But um, I was like, yeah, it would be a nice little, you know, something to check off that you've never done before. Because mm -hmm. I try to do at least one thing per year that I've never done before. You know, mm -hmm. mainly it's oh, usually on my birthday that I try to do it. But it don't matter <laughs> what time of year yeah. it is. So. <laughs> But just experience. And then of course, you know, tropically, I would love to go places like Fiji and Bora Bora and yeah. oh Lord, that's this on a, a five year plus. <laughs> <laughs> we should we should try to we should, you know, they just opened up, let me pronounce it correctly, Bimini in the Bahamas. Uh -huh. Okay. And yeah, um, it's a new port. And so I know at least three different people that have been and they said it is absolutely beautiful. You can actually catch a ferry over from Florida. Um, okay. Kind of like my friend was saying she lives in Florida and her mm -hmm. and her family went and she said it's probably like the price of an airline ticket okay. to catch the ferry. I think it's maybe like a two hour ferry ride oh. over to the island. Mm -hmm. so okay. Now that sounds that, interesting. It does. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think it's B I M I N I. And it would be more cost effective than <laughs> yeah. right. the other trip to Papa. Yeah. I would love to go to um Dubai one day. Oh, not yes. one day, but for yeah. a period of time. Oh in the man, future. I, I know a few people that's done been and they just rave about just yeah. how opulent just the city is. Yeah. And, you just see the riches a, everywhere. Just exactly. I have a friend that lived <laughs> in Abu Dhabi. Wow. And uh, which is not far, mm -hmm. so I would love to go. Yeah, yeah you already experience. got somebody you can stay with. Come on, somebody, get your right? <laughs> That's right. I'm all in support of people moving. Yeah, go, come on, live go somewhere ahead. else. <laughs> <laughs> so I can have some places to stay Absolutely. when I come visit. Keep it economic. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. exactly. Wow. So yeah, I think. Definitely Kitty Hawk. And if I had to go like out, I really want to go to California to see the Redwoods. Oh, yeah. 
the nice. large trees. Yeah. yeah. I, I really want to do, they have a national park tour that you can go to like all the national parks in the United mm -hmm. States. I would really love to like visit everyone. Yeah. Wow. I can see you doing like that. Yellowstone and Yellowstone, mm -hmm. Redwoods, mm -hmm. like all those national parks. Because each state, especially like out west, they all have like um the Zions, those red rocks out in like um is it Utah? I think it's Utah where the Zions a... are. <laughs> We need to do a cross country. I've, I've always wanted to do like a cross country trip in a car, like a RV, like an RV or, or just yeah. anything, a car, a convertible, just whatever, yeah. and just go stop at the different places. Yeah. Um, see the beauty of what each place has to offer and eat. Route and 66. Eat all the good food is what <laughs> that they have to offer. They have to I would offer. love to do that. I would love yeah. to. My problem is I watch too much TV sometimes, or well, not too much, but. You know, or you see the little clips where animals attacking people. Oh, that's in their space. <laughs> that, right. The animals gonna attack <laughs> until you until yeah. you invade. You're in, there. You're in their space go. trying to get pictures. They don't want pictures. They, they don't just want, want pictures. Animals. Mm -mm, not at all. Oh, yeah, but that would be cool right. to do Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yeah. So well, what we're supposed to do that sweet one year or something who's gonna get in the car and just go <laughs> yeah. oh, like yell and open up. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I I definitely really would do um I really because you know you can actually rent RVs. Yeah. And I had talked about that with one of my other um with some other girlfriends, but they all started talking about who gonna drive. I don't want to drive. <laughs> oh, like, no. Everybody <laughs> get one state to drive. To. Right. <laughs> because <laughs> I don't know. I think you have to have a certain classification depending on what size it is. Right. But I just like the idea of doing the RV because excuse me you don't have to um worry about the hotel component because right. you're like right. on the rv and sure. then you know like they have well, you know rv camps are a big yeah. deal because you can cook they cook on them mm -hmm. everything right. is there so like when you go to the the campgrounds you can do your laundry mm -hmm. you can take they have showers if you want to do right. that so it's yeah. very um feasible so you can um, attach your car you attach the car um because some people do the rvs where they attach their car or i was thinking about the smaller version that's like the ford truck that they have the okay. hangover yeah yeah um they're a little smaller because i think yeah. with those longer class ones you do have to have a certain designation on your license to drive right mm -hmm. but and yeah drive one. he's yeah. like no that's <laughs> like driving a bus yeah i used to drive a school bus Really? Uh huh. Well, you might be able to handle it then. Uh, sweet. Yeah, this is true. Yeah, so. and then when we went on our little vacations with uh the choir and stuff, I was always driving a van. Seemed oh, like the van. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Them Tennessee mountains feel like they're <laughs> about to flip over because of the right. wind going getting underneath. Yeah, it. that's you got to oh, be goodness. careful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Wow. Okay, well, those are good questions. We, yeah, absolutely. So, I guess, oh, wait. what are you guys doing for Christmas? I guess that's the last question because it is 14 days away. Major plans for Christmas? Oh, actually, this week. next week ain't, ain't Christmas. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. like Monday. Yep. Next, yep. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. I'll be eating stuff in my face as usual. Bye. Okay. Yeah, I'll be we'll be going to Burlington and spending time with the fam and okay. And of course, then we're gonna try and go see the color purple on Christmas Day. And <laughs> yeah, my family's yeah. trying to do that too. And I'm like, I think we need to buy tickets, y'all. Yeah, right. um, yeah, yeah, it's true that thing in advance. Um, <laughs> I was looking for purple today online. Oh, all right. Because oh, Oprah said purple wear purple. I can't do it. So oh, okay. You're gonna be out, ain't you? You gonna be dicked I, out? I, I actually was like, the way I've been feeling, I was trying to just keep it real, real oh, casual okay. and do a nice little purple jumpsuit okay. and some some crispy tennis shoes. Because yeah. I was like, I don't feel like dressing up because it may be cold next yeah, week. so true. It is well, you know how we do coming in there looking like purple Wakanda or something. Honey, <laughs> Matt, you know, we, we'll take a jumpsuit and, and, and give it life. <laughs> Put on point. some heels. <laughs> razzle <laughs> dazzle. Like, razzle yeah. dazzle. Because uh, we extra and I love it. Um, oh, 
Yeah, I think we uh we're actually going to have we typically don't have service the Sunday before the Sunday before Christmas and the Sunday after Christmas, but because of the way Christmas fell this year, we are going to have like a new a Christmas Eve service. Okay. But um my yeah, pastor did something really he's doing something really neat and um it's going to be an abbreviated service, but we're turning the church into a living room. Ooh. And so like the whole feel is when you come in, um, it's going to be like going into the living room on Christmas day. So oh, people so can nice. uh, wear like pajamas and your ugly oh, sweaters. And that's cool. yeah, I heard him saying something about like, um, like maybe having like, we have like coffee and little mm -hmm. pastries out for guests, but maybe yeah. having like a cereal bar and, stuff yeah. like that so i um and it'll be like a, a, a super abbreviated service mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm looking forward to that That's and nice. then the week of christmas i'm going to the beach okay um, then with the yeah. family y'all going to the beach no going with some friends from okay. church mm -hmm. oh, good so i think that'd be a good be little nice. yeah a good Rest little break brandon's supposed to be coming what so he say you know you know, he'll probably go, you know, yeah. he usually stick to his word. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I think that'd be a good yeah. end of the year and yeah. mentally preparing for the new year. Absolutely. So I'm Absolutely. excited nice. and I'm super excited to see the color purple. Yes. Yay. My God. The remain is a rest, my Lord. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what some of us need. I know my pastor was talking about that today, you know. Yes. Being yeah. a season of rest that's you know gonna come. That's mm -hmm. another thing so. too. I think this in 2024, I want to be more intentional with honoring Sabbath. Come on, like this whole not week. not just um <laughs> Sunday service, yes. but having set aside time in my week, set aside mm -hmm. time in the year where I honor Sabbath. I'm not working. I'm not doing like I'm taking a moment to yes. do nothing because I think like a day of rest and you know when you're in ministry and you're involved in ministry and volunteering Sunday is not your Sabbath so yeah. you kind of have to find that other day sure. you know Saturday Friday whatever it is but just taking yeah. that time because I think it's so important that we do honor Sabbath yes. and rest important. God who created literally everything mm -hmm. thought it not good. robbery to be like and he rested on that on that seventh God day seven thousandth day whatever people say how much the, the point is he rested <laughs> <Come on>. <laughs> <laughs> the point is he rested you know <laughs> be like he Jesus. Did, the god of hey. the universe rested right and I'm how gonna give much more how much more we I'm need to get... sit our hips down every day <laughs> listen <laughs> i'm about to I'm about to get me a shirt that wow. say, "Be like Jesus, take uh -oh. naps." I'm telling you, did he not sleep on the boat? Did he sleep? Rested. Come he on, rested. Jesus rested. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be like Jesus. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Amen. I think it's been a great conversation. Yeah. I say, Lord, you never know how a conversation is going to unfold until you actually start right. having it. But yeah. yeah, but I think we all said stuff that just that literally flowed from the Holy Spirit. I, I, I really, I, and I really feel like somebody is going to be helped Come by on. something that was here. I yes. was helped. Yeah, I was. I great. was too. I was, gonna be well, it started with us. There we go. That was <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. And run us our money. <laughs> oh, <wow. Sweet>. <laughs> if you, if you was really helped, nah. <laughs> I'm missing it. Cause that's how the saints they 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 manipulate you giving and will you gonna make me add the cash <laughs> that's not, at the bottom? That's not how we do. We not. That I literally am joking. <laughs> well, I mean, my money. That's how the folks that get you. If you was really here, yeah. this is a blessing to you. <laughs> and, and I think it shows too how the things that we go through, the things that we experience, are for others. You know, it's mm -hmm. not. You know, it's it's for the lesson to be not only. Um, learned but passed on and that no matter how horrible you think your year have, has been 
you know, the, the jewels that you've learned from that, you can always pass on to help someone else. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. My Lord, when yeah. you have been, what is the scripture? When you have been strengthened, strengthen your brother or something like that. But, uh, but yeah, what we go through is not just for us. So don't hold it. Tell it. Right. <laughs> Run and tell it. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, with that being said, we're going to have uh, a quick final thought and we're going to close this thing out. So any final words anyone wants to share or you feel like we already shared our final words? <laughs> what you think? I would say my final, oh, we have said a lot. I think my final <laughs> word, because we, we, this is my final word number two. Uh, my, <laughs> my final words to the listeners are, first of all, thank you guys for coming on this journey with us this year um, mm -hmm. as we lost April, but gained Shanita. Mm -hmm. And um, we appreciate your following we appreciate your listening and sharing and sharing us with others and hopefully if the lord says the same we'll come back next year with new and fresh content and more laughs and more insight and more uh good stuff and good topics to talk about and i would say that um as we are obviously in the holiday season and going into the new season if you don't have um, uh, a faith community. Um, our prayer is that you be connected to um, community, um, a faith community, or even just a community of friends and believers. Life is not meant to be um, lived alone. And even the Trinity represents community, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So I would encourage everyone to be in community and find someone to do life with. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say first, thank you to Sweet and Holly for considering me for this opportunity in which has been a blessing to me. I've enjoyed it. It's given me the opportunity to share my thoughts. It kind of took us back to our college days, you know, <laughs> even after just the random conversations that we have. Yeah. And I'm thankful for those that support this journey and the platform as well. So thank you ladies for the opportunity again. Um, and I guess my closing thought would be um, for this next year, next season, remember the source of anything that you hear, because so many times we take on the thoughts of our past or things that have been spoken over us. And someone always once told me and I always remember, consider the source of the words that were presented to you. Was it the enemy? Was it God? Mm -hmm. And if it was not God, then you know that the, the the enemy is the father of all lies. So reject the lies that were told and hold on to who God sees you as and hold on to what he's spoken on, onto your life because that is what is true. Amen. Yes. Amen. I did all what they said. Thank you guys so much for rocking with us uh, throughout this year and just your support. We really appreciate it. And if you have not already subscribed, please do so. Amen. If you've been listening and just ain't committed, please commit. Amen. <laughs> commit, commit, commit. But we appreciate you anyhow for just being here and supporting us um, on this journey, as uh, both of the ladies said. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. My final thought would just be uh, that your life is a lesson um, to teach to someone else that we all have value. And sometimes we don't realize our value uh, because of the things we experience, but it is because of the things we experience that we have value. And so uh, share that value with other people um, yes. and encourage them on their journey. Um, and also go into the year with an expectation uh, because it's a year that you've never seen before. Anything is possible. Um, I don't care how past years have been this one is going to be different. I really yeah. feel that in my spirit for you. Yes. So Lord. I just encourage you to have the hope to, to believe for greater uh, in this coming year. 
Well, with that being said, uh, I think that's it for us yep. uh, for this year. <laughs> so uh, we're not going to see you guys until next year. If the uh, what what did it, what's the saying? If, if the, the creek, creek don't rise, don't rise. And, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, as we come together, and if God says keep going, then we gonna go forth and see you guys in twenty twenty four. But of course, we'll let you guys know if anything changes. Of course. Um, but thank you again for hanging out with us. Uh, again, subscribe, like, share, um, all of the things. And we just look forward to um, a, a new year and just happy new year in advance. Uh, I guess you new probably, year. yeah, be listening to this. I think on the 29th is when you guys will get the episode. But happy new year in advance. Mm-hmm. And God bless you. Merry Good Christmas. Night. Oh, yeah, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas too. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yes, yes. <laughs> I forgot I jumped over Christmas <laughs> and went to the New Year because like I people right. jump over Thanksgiving. Yeah. But by the time they get it on the 29th, Christmas, Christmas would have been be a pass, over. Right. Yeah. Either way. Yeah. Hope you had a good Christmas. Oh, amen. Yes. <laughs> yeah, all right. God bless y'all. Peace. Bye. <laughs>